students in this video we are going to understand about two component regulatory system in bacteria this system is related with how a bacteria responds to the changes undergoing in its environment according to these environmental signals it gives a particular response for example if bacteria founds a nutrient in its environment then first of all it will sense the presence of this nutrient and then it will respond by moving towards this nutrient in another example if there is presence of toxin in the environment then bacteria will sense the presence of this toxin and will move away from it as a response to the environmental signal in both these cases bacteria responds to the presence of nutrient or toxin by bringing about changes in its flagellar movements for example if there is any attractant present in the environment attractant may be anything whether it is a nutrient or favorable temperature or it may be favorable ph and so on then bacteria will move towards this attractant as it is shown in this video if it is a chemical present as an attractant such as nutrient then the chemo receptors found in its body will sense to these attractant and will bring certain changes in the flagellar movement so that bacteria will move towards this attractant in this figure you can see the movement of bacteria towards the chemoattractant and reverse movement whenever there is presence of a chemo repellent which is unfavorable conditions for its growth so in this way the bacteria responds to various environmental stimuli it senses them and responds using two component regulatory system this two component regulatory system is composed of two proteins named as sensor protein and response regulator protein sensor protein as the name suggests is involved in sensing a change in the environment thus its function is to receive the signal from its environment and pass the signal on to the response regulator response regulator as the name suggests is involved in the response of the bacterial cell towards the environmental change thus its main function is to get the signal from the sensor protein and to bring the cellular response this response may be the result of changes in the gene expression pattern of the bacteria thus response regulator protein is responsible for bringing a particular response as a change in gene expression the sensor protein consists of two domains input domain and transmitter domain while response regulator protein also consists two domains named as receiver domain and output domain the input domain of sensor protein receives the environmental signal as its input transmitter domain transmits this signal to the second component of two component system 
which is response regulator protein. Receiver domain of this response regulator receives the signal from the transmitter domain of the sensor protein, while output domain of the response regulator brings about the response by binding with the DNA and thus affecting the gene expression. When a particular signal or environmental change is sensed by the input domain of the sensory protein, then it activates its transmitter domain. The signal is passed from this transmitter domain to the receiver domain via protein phosphorylation. Transmitter domain have the ability to phosphorylate themselves using ATP on a specific histidine residue near the amino terminus. Thus, sensor proteins containing transmitter domains are called autophosphorylating histidine kinases. These proteins normally function as dimers in which catalytic site of one subunit phosphorylates the acceptor site on the other subunit when an environmental signal is received. As soon as the transmitter domain becomes autophosphorylated on a histidine residue, the phosphate group is then transferred to the specific aspartate residue near the middle of the receiver domain of the response regulator protein. As a result, specific aspartate residue becomes phosphorylated, which in turn causes the response regulator to undergo a conformational change that results in its activation. This activated response regulator brings a particular response by bringing changes in the gene expression in response to that particular environmental signal. In this way, two component system works in the bacteria and a bacteria is able to respond to the various environmental signals by bringing changes in its gene expression. Now we'll understand all this part whatever we have studied by this animated video. In this video you can see a bacteria which will respond to the various environmental signals which may be presence of a nutrient, changes in the temperature, presence of a fertilizer in its environment or oxygen concentration and so on. The bacteria does this by bringing about changes in its gene expression. Whenever a particular signal binds to the pre receptor present on the cell membrane, then it triggers the response in this receptor. This receptor is the sensor protein and the signal binds to the input domain part of it. The binding of signal to the sensor protein's input domain causes the dimerization of this histidine kinase, which triggers the autophosphorylation of histidine kinase. Now, after getting phosphorylated, this is said to be activated. The response regulator proteins receiver domain now receives this signal in the form of phosphate group at its aspartate residue and then binding of this phosphate group to the aspartate residues brings conformational change in its structure. Now this is able to bind to the promoter region of the DNA thus bringing a particular response of bacteria towards 
this environmental signal. So this is all about how two component system works in bacteria. Thanks.